Bahavur Rana's lawyer, Charlie Swift, has in fact said that Rana was duped into this entire plot by none other than David Coleman Headley. Let's listen in. I thought it was the first good day in court. Uh, the evidence is coming out about the way I expected. I think our opening is dead on point. Dr. Rana was duped, and that's what the evidence is going to show. And we'll see where Mr. Headley changed his testimony and where his testimony makes sense. Uh, some of the evidence that we expect to come in will show that Dr. that uh, David Headley absolutely had additional motives, including protecting his wife, and that she absolutely did know. And there's written proof that she knew, and they're not going to be that same proof where Dr. Ron is concerned. Ms. He did say on the part was, uh, the important part was that they were handling visas from the period of time. No, my client was concerned. He kept asking, why aren't we making money? And as you saw in the emails that came up, they kept asking about money. And if it's a front, why do you care about money? But we'll take that up in trial. What did you make of the fact that the ISI was talking? Uh, in the end, it's critical. Headley's credibility is critical. If you believe him, then Dr. Rana knew. If you believe him, he was briefing him constantly here in Chicago, though it had no point. Uh, but I don't think he'll have much credibility by the time this week's over. That in 2003, David Coleman Headley trained in Lashkar Taiba camps. According to him, his introduction to ISI happened through the LET. He met with the Major Samir Ali in 2006. He met with the Major Pasha in 2003 and eventually met his handler, Major Iqbal, also in 2006. Major Iqbal is the person who handled him throughout the plotting of the 2611 attacks. Who, who is Major Iqbal? I, I want to. Yeah. Can you elaborate on who Major Iqbal is? Major is he really an ISI guy? Is he retired? Is he serving? Is he a real person? Is he a According person? to the uh, government, and yeah. I have no information to the other side, he is a serving ISI officer currently so on why duty. Why isn't he in jail? I, that's not. I have the question. Why is Dr. Ron in jail and he isn't?